the more I see Tatum these last few weeks, I part of it is just he's gone into such ISO mode. I think it's affecting other people. And I don't want to say he's to the level of Kyrie was to him, but he's, you know, he just, he's holding on to the ball. He's waiting for the floor to clear. You know, it's like he's playing like the guy who worked out with Kobe all summer, you know? Mm-hmm. And I think, I think Every, that's got to change. Greatest fears realized already. It only took a couple of years. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying it. I, I think, I think that's, um, that's part of it. You know, he's got to get back into moving the ball. I think Jalen has been more straight ahead. I think Jalen is actually trying to do the right things. Um, you know, and he's certainly been their most consistent when he's out there quarter to quarter, you know, I mean, th- it's become a Tatum that you don't see him until the fourth quarter. It's, you know, there's, you know, I think. Or like the other night when he erupted in the first quarter and then disappeared. Yeah. You know, what seemed like the rest of the game and then showed up again late. Yeah. And I'm not sure he's taking good shots. Uh, I think some of those threes are bad shots. And he, you know, last night going in the fourth, what was he? I think he was one for seven from three. You know, you ended up, he finished one for eight. So it's not like he had a terrific oh, okay. You know, it's not like he was amazing. But when you talk about that, like, and I, look, I, I love Jason Tatum. And, and I keep going back to this one thing that Dwayne Wade said a couple of months ago on TNT. The, the problem with Jason Tatum is Jason Tatum, you know, can basically hit any shot at any time on the floor that he wants, which is an unbelievable skill, especially when you're 23 years old. The problem with Tatum is he doesn't uplift the rest of the roster like he needs to for this team to be who they need to be. And I'm not and and this is the thing that Adam, you and I talked about this at the beginning of the season. This is the first year in the Tatum Brown era, you know, where they're, you know, one and two in the pecking order, et cetera. Et cetera. Mm-hmm. But this is the first year these guys are gonna actually get some serious scrutiny, you know, in terms of wearing the, the the problems that that this team has and they're then rece- accepting responsibility and blame for this thing right because everybody's trying to throw around you know where does the blame go where does the blame go and as danny said this morning on 98.5 like everybody shares the responsibility of losing i mean danny said you know i i accept some of this it's on brad but it's also on our players and he was talking about it more in terms of brad how you know brad's not out there you know going 11 of 40 whatever the Celtics went last night against dallas um, you know, Brad's not out there shooting shots. You know, he's only trying to get people in the right places. He's not the one controlling where the ball goes all the time. So mm-hmm. when you get back to blaming the product on the floor, that, you know, is th- that blame starts at the top. That starts with Tatum. And I got into a little bit of this uh, a couple of days ago with some people on Twitter about some of the shots that Tatum takes and about how people throw numbers at me. Oh, Tatum shooting 40 whatever percent on you know pull up threes but the step back three you know early in the shot clock from 28 feet 29 30 feet is not a good shot especially when you're not in rhythm my problem with tatum is you know he thinks he can create himself some rhythm with that shot at any time during the game where you and i and all of us i think understand you know, if you're not in rhythm to start the game, and you know when Tatum's in rhythm, like he'll hit a couple of threes in a row, and you're like, all right, yeah, now now he's cooking. Yeah. But the best way for a, a guy to get in rhythm is to try and drive to the basket, try and get fouled, and go to the free throw line. And this team, and Kemba's done a good job of it recently getting to the free throw line. They brought in 48 to kind of help that. But this team lacks rhythm consistently and part of that is because this team does not get to the free throw line and does not take free throws and you know you're trying to hit home runs constantly and when you're not in rhythm those home runs they they don't fall 